What's up? We are here at the Lion Air Museum for the annual OC Food and Wine Festival, and I am thrilled to have Peggy Tanos here to help me check it out. Hey, Scott, I'm so excited to be here. This is going to be a great evening. Thank you to the Brea Rotary Club. We're going to have a ton of fun, and we're going to raise a lot of money for Chalk Hospital. I am here with Domenico from Antonella Restaurant Group. How are you doing tonight? Excellent, Peggy. How are you? I'm great. Now, what are you serving? It looks delicious. Okay, orecchiette alla puttanesca. is a orecchiette pasta with uh, fresh basil, black olives, and capers. I can't wait to try it. This is like full yeah. service. I love it. That's Italian. That's amore. Um, mm. Buono? Buono. I'm with one of my favorite wineries, Card Blanche, and I heard that you had like one of your wines was in like top five or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's not, thank you. Yeah, our Syrah Grenache, uh, our 2010 Syrah Grenache was just rated number five out in the in the uh, top 100 by Wine Spectator. So that's something great for us to show out here. We only made 100 cases, so we don't get to preview it very much. I have a huge weakness for bread. I'm at the Sadie Rose Baking Company. How are you, Therese? Oh, I'm doing great, Peggy. You've come to the right place. Bread doesn't get any better than here. Tell me what makes your bread so unique from everybody else's bread. Well, what makes it unique is that we really spend a lot of time baking the bread. We let the dough rest for a good 24 hours, breaks down the gluten, gives you really a good flavor, and we don't rush the baking process. All these breads that you see here were baked this morning and were made by hand. And we like a nice crusty exterior and a really chewy interior. It's so good. Yum, yum. Yeah, I don't know if I should pick shaving dish number one or number two because it's red lobster and you know you're gonna love it all but i have to go with number one what is under number one all right we have garlic grilled shrimp so we have this here it's on a skewer it has five shrimp each okay well i think i picked a winner i am here at the wilson creek winery booth and they are down in temecula california which is only an hour from orange county so many people don't even know about it i love temecula how you doing wendy i'm doing great so tell me what wines you're serving tonight we have our famous almond champagne. We brought our Grand Cuvée, our Chardonnay, and our Zinfandel. The almond champagne, I have, you need to tell everyone the special little deal they do at the winery in Temecula with the almond champagne. I love it. Well, we have a little chocolate cup that we pour in our chocolate port and our almond champagne, and it's called an Almond Joy. Very almond fun. Joy, I call it an almond kiss. It is delicious. Okay, they're from Santa Ana. This is Soho Taco, and you have done it up tonight. What do we got? Well, we got this padilla de fruta, and uh, that's uh, really refreshing. Scott's got to keep moving. I can't pass up. I got my fruit. I got the meatball. I got the chips, and I love Soho Taco. It's my favorite time again, wine time. We have Jeff from Paul Hobbs Winery out of Sonoma. Tell me about your wonderful wines and what you're serving. Well, we're seeing two different Chardonnays tonight, one oaked, one unoaked. Really about intensive quality, focus on the details. So intense quality is our big premise. I love the details. And a detail about this event, I can literally go not even like three feet or three steps, and I'm at Roy's restaurant. Andy, tell me what Roy's is serving tonight, because I love Roy's. We have uh, chicken Kilguin tacos with a fin and sauce. I cannot wait to try it. I'm gonna have to do like double time on the treadmill tomorrow. Okay, everybody, we we're having so much fun and we've stopped at the Cantina. Fortaleza. And uh, they got tequila. So let's we cheer. Need a break. We need a break and we need some tequila. <laughs> yeah, we need some tequila because we're only halfway through and we're going to cheers. Ready? Hey, tell me about your beer. Uh, so we're the first brewery in Huntington Beach, the production brewery. This is our Hang 5 IPA. You're gonna find a lot of citrus and pine notes in there, and so it's finished very sweet. Hey, cheers. I'm here with Terry from Cholam Winery, and tell me about the wines. We have five varieties, two whites and three reds. We're very new, and we're so happy to be here. Are you having a good time? I'm having a fabulous time tonight. We're really enjoying it. I think it's better than last year because we're so busy, and we just had such a great turnout. Uh, we're a family-owned restaurant. We feature fresh seafood, steaks, um, all the yummy stuff that people are looking for today. This is one of our signature items. It's called stuffed chicken. It's stuffed with feta cheese and spinach and it's topped with our citrus per blanc sauce. I'm serving some Michael David Petit Syrah and uh, I'm serving uh, also some Sauvignon Blanc from Lodi, California. 
have uh, founded Osterhout Winery, uh, and we specialize in small single vineyards from Hillsburg area up near in Sonoma County. The Prince of Pino actually gave all three of our rosés 90, 91, and 91 points. So all I want to know is, what's under the dish? <laughs> well, we have tenderloin of beef with a wild mushroom sauce. These are spanakopita. It's traditional spinach pie. Spinach, feta, dill, and parsley wrapped in phyllo dough and baked. I am here with my girlfriend, Tamara Clatterbuck, and Hello. she How drove all you? the way from Los Angeles. I did, absolutely. This is a fabulous event, an amazing event, and I think that anything in regards to children's hospitals is incredible. Now, I saw you the other night on Criminal Minds. That's exciting. That's kind of scary. I was kind of scary. I was a little skanky, a little trashy, but it was an amazing show, amazing cast. You did amazing. People to work with. Our bottles, the uh, nude is the first nude on a bottle of wine in the United States ever. Yeah, so how did you do? Oh my goodness, I think I ate too much. Yes, well at least we did it for charity. Exactly, we raised a lot of money, that's important. Yes, five star event and I had the greatest time with the wonderful Peggy Tanos. I had a great time with you Scott and with meeting all new friends and just this event is amazing, it's a gorgeous venue so make sure you come next year.